Welcome to Let's Play NetHack. I've done some brief working out. There are 14 boulders remaining, 11 holes to fill. So, what we can do... Uh, quickly check... Yep. Okay. Uh, apply L. Dig out this rock. And we'll blank again. Right. This then allows us to... What's happened there? Not sure to do that. Now this gets a little easier. Still, plenty of room to make errors. We can do that. Yep, push it along. Down and along. Right, nine to go. And we can now do this, which goes to there, which goes to there eventually goes to there. Three enemies have just spawned there. But we have to deal with those for a bit. Um, dip -a -dip -a -dip. Okay, let's work this one out again. And suddenly my notes have disappeared, worryingly. Okay, um, push that along, it can't be used. I push that along. Yeah, it did, it did. Okay, that's just... No, that's probably a bad idea. Let's go like that. Then go down, then go long, then go up. Then go long. I can still destroy two. And let's look at things here. Shap and two, yep, I can use those. down two, and we get a cram ration. Four enemies there now. Push along one, push along one, down we go. This is fairly long-winded to solve this, really. And there we go. And this also means we can mess about with this one to get that one in right how many do we need after this five five should be easy enough right so let's push that up to there Push that along to there, that there, up to there. Round. There's an enemy up there. He's going to come round and annoy me in a moment, I'm sure. Right, we'll blank. and see what we're up against. We're up against... Is that a pudding? It is a brown pudding. Well, let's deal with the brown pudding. It turns to flee. Not a paladin, we don't worry about these things. We're not going to eat the pudding. I'm sorry. I've played too much D&D &D to trust anything which calls itself a pudding. Also, it's... No. It probably is vegetarian, though. It's just probably poisonous. Alright, three to go. And if I apply L that way, we can then use these. Down one, down long, down all, round, up, long, 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 long. Okay, two to go, and there's a gecko there. And is that a lichen? No, it's a green mold. Still, we dealt with it. Down we go, along we go, up. We're okay for food at this point. Along, and last one. Red mold. Red mold with a bronze ring. Take that. And we're 
is solved. And there's a few enemies which seem to be tr tracking me at this point. Oh god, more wood elves. Um, not sh quite sure what happened there. Um, you hit the wood elf. Ape hits the etin zombie. Ape hits the etin. Ah, the ape is attacking the etin zombie. Nice. Okay, we're level 10. Awesome. Let's quickly move away from things, though. They're going to have arrows, aren't they? Kill. Right, there are several objects there, of which we probably don't want too many of them. Oops, had a cancel. And what's here? A pair we will take for now. Ape. Um, are you friendly? No. You were just attacking the Etin. Alright, that Etin, that thing attacks more than us. Now we killed him, so that's alright. And there's a saddle there, interestingly. We might... Ah, that's gonna... Oh, we're also now weak. We should be eating. We shall eat our food ration. We're still burdened. Okay, we'll take the saddle on the way out, because that might be useful. Where are we? Saddle. And we shall take the engagement ring. And we shall take a spiked wand. Let's just take a quick stock of where we are. Um, okay, same old ring. Okay. Up to the next level. And this looks fairly easy, actually. There's a tin here. Two of them. Oh, you... Okay. Um, hold on, that's an ogre. We'll blank. We kill the ogre. Get 11 gold pieces. And let's sort things out here. We go there. Pick up the cream pie. Go there, and that goes along. This one seems easier than the last one, actually. And we go all the way up here. Yeah, just don't push one too many, or that's really going to mess us up. Six to go. And there is number one. And there's another ring there, clay. You have a lot of rings to do testing on a bit later. Right, five to go. Now, what can I do here? If I push that up, either of those up, they can't be used. So that's not the correct move. I can push this down to there and still use it. So I can then do this. Yes, we know about the ogre corpse. And I'm not overly interested. And we get round. There's a dog there. Okay, we can deal with the dog in a moment. Hmm. So if I push that along... That, okay. Push this up. Push that along. Push this along. I can then go... Do, do, do. No, that doesn't help me actually. Let's think about this. What I can do... Hmm, okay. I might have underestimated this slightly. Um, I can push that down too, doesn't help. I can't push diagonally. Alright, let's push you back. Let's push you... Oh, no, i push you along too. That there. Then I can use this. And that allows me to attack the dog. We kill the dog. And we'll zap ourselves with healing, because we can. Right, so... I then push that up one, that up one. That goes along there, and that means that one's salt as well. So just one of these last ones to take. And we 
we shall take this one once we go the long way round. It's one of these occasions where a boots of levitation might be really useful. I'm not sure if they work. It's a gust of wind doing it, sort of. I feel tough. My constitution's gone up to 14, which is useful. And there's a lot of enemies that have spawned behind me. Right, wheel blank. Let's see what they, some of these are. First off, uh, we... I'm not interested. Kick that down, and we find a steel wand and two slime mods. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... Ah, well, at least we know which one's the fake one. Okay. Um... I have to destroy that first one, don't I? Looking at this. Yeah, because I push it down and I can't move. Okay, apply L, destroy. Ah, you... Okay, this is bad. Ah, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, we'll take the carrots, we'll take the slime mold. We shall drop the mimic corpse here. Okay, this one again is looking a little tricky, if I'm honest. So I'm going to work this one out slowly. But first, uh, nope, quiver. Uh, R. Fire. Oh, I have no ammunition left, so let's finish him off. And yay, we've killed a couple of giant mimics. Only got one dart left, unfortunately. Wire ring and a food ration. Also, the ah, oh, there we go. My psychic powers don't appear to be working as well as they used to. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here and work things out. Until then, I'll have to wait. I'll heal myself first. Until next time.